Do I need to explain something? I guess no. Today, nearly all of us are attending online classes on each of the days. There is a platform for attending online classes like Google Meet, Cisco Webex, Zoom, and the new one from Geo is GeoMeet. And the most important part of any online class or any class is the timetable or the routine itself. We have classes on six days from Monday to Saturday. The weekend is also utilized in the same. We have five plus subjects at least on one of the days. And here's the situation. Suppose the time is 8.59 a.m. and you have a class at 9 a.m. What is the most common thing that you see daily? Any guesses? Well, here is it. Where is the link? Can you please give me the link? Give me the link, please. And suddenly your phone rings. Someone asks you for the link on phone call and you're like, please don't call me. I'm attending online class. Please call me after classes. And you drop the call. So this happens in every case. Every day, I guess. Right? Uh, the links are confusing because each of the links seem same. It's hard to determine that which is the link for this class, which is the link for that class, for this subject, for another subject, and so on. It's much problematic, right? The only guy that is enjoying all of this is this green guy right here. So are you tired of links? Well, here's the solution. Timetable viewer and manager. Happy? Well, you should be. Timetable viewer and manager is a browser extension. It can run in Chrome, Firefox and Microsoft Edge. Its user interface is shown here. Uh, the day. Suppose today is Saturday, so you will see Saturday here. The subject name appears here as Cybersecurity Essentials. The timing of the class 10 to 11. Your roll number appears here, the subject code here, and finally the link appears right here. The second subject and all of the subjects in the row appear right below the first subject. Let's see the actual user interface in Microsoft Edge. So I have Microsoft Edge open now. Here's the extension. I'm clicking on the extension and let's see. Let's wait for the pop-up menu. Okay, it's right here. So you may see the same user interface here. If you want to edit the timetable, if you want to add something for Saturday or for any other day, if you want to delete some stuff, like if you want to delete automation theory, you may do it also. Uh, let's click on the edit timetable option now. And we are here on Monday's routine. And if today is Saturday, we want to add or delete something from Saturday, let's click on the link on Saturday. And suppose I have class from 4 to 4 0, 0 p.m. to 5 0, 0 and p.m. And suppose the subject code is anything. The first subject name should be written here. The roll number here and your section. And finally, the link should be mentioned right here. And then what you need to do is you need to click on the submit button here and it will be added to the timetable. It will appear here. And when you click on this again, the same, the subject analytical skills will be added to the timetable. This data will be persisted. Even if you turn off your laptop, restart it, close your browser, do anything. Uh, if you want to delete some subjects, like if you want to delete automation theory, you may click on the delete button here. And it's go. So this is the basic working of the timetable. Viewer and manager. Okay. We have seen the working already. So you may download the extension. The link to the extension will be mentioned in the description. And thank you for watching the video.
have a good day goodbye